welcome you back to Fayetteville, Arkansas, the campus of the University of Arkansas here at Bud Walton Arena, game number two of the John Thompson Foundation Challenge Classic. It's Tennessee State versus the University of Arkansas. Welcome back in, everybody. I'm Barry McKnight with Jimmy Dykes. The obvious storyline for this one is the return of the sun. Nolan Richardson and Nolan Richardson the third coaching against each other. Isn't that something? Probably the first time it's ever happened in college basketball where you got three generations of one family on the floor tonight. And it's an exciting time. Samuel. Gibson goes to the lane. Feeds Johnson. Dribble penetration. And Johnson's the beneficiary. Teddy Gibson, in my opinion, that's when he's at his best. Making a play with a basketball towards the rim, either as a scorer or a passer. Three-pointer is on the way and missed by Jamie Roberts. Here come the Hawks. Johnson keys the break. Lob goes to Gibson. Wow. Teddy Gibson made an unbelievable athletic play, and he gets the ladder one time. <laughs> but he and Brandon Dean can jump as high as anyone for their size at 6'3", 6'1", apiece. There's Kevin Samuel with 20 on the shot clock. John Gilmore works against Lay. Oh! First layup. Goodness gracious. Wow. No, you didn't. Richardson now to Jamie Roberts. Weak side rebound, Rolston. Fresh 35. Here's a three from Kevin Samuel. The Tennessee State just in the game, and there's a turnover forced by that pressure. Johnson hesitation dribble to the lane. Four points, Joe Johnson. Inside, Gilmore mishandled it for a moment. Another reverse layup. Red coach notes Richardson will be one because I watched him practice last night for an hour and a half, and those, those three things were in place. Six points for Joe Johnson. Blake Eddins in the game for Arkansas, the 6'7 sophomore, in the lane, bodies all over the place. Very effective three-point shooter. Here's Blake Eddins, a very effective three-point shooter. Hits his first three played. At the time, he plays the mentality that every loose ball is his. That was a nice play by Satchel. Nice catch by Satchel on the entry pass. Here. So is this going to be the Arkansas team that lost 15 games last year or the one that won the, the SEC tournament? Time will tell. Didn't root it out of there. Shot is blocked. Brown had it redirected by Satchel, and here comes Edens across midcourt to Charles Tatum, the little 5'10 player to Carl Baker. He's a good role player. Tough lead pass ahead to Brown. And here's Strong out of control, stolen away. Gibson with a breakaway. Can't turn it over. Absolutely cannot turn it over in this building against Arkansas, because when that happens, they get transition baskets. The crowd starts getting into it a little bit more. The little pressure heat knob is turned up. Five-point Arkansas lead. Make it two as Kevin Samuel drains it. Argo from three. An air ball. Davis gets the rebound and the lay-in again. Second straight trip. Roberts brings rain with that high arcing three attempt. The lead pass ahead to Davis. Davis will feed Gibson for a tray. I get a timeout right now by Tennessee State because this thing can explode on you if you're not careful. Make him play the dribble. Baseline, good by Don Offit, just from the corner. Tennessee State back to within eight. Broke a 10-0 run. Down low, here's Gibson, reverse layup. Just found a seam, and they got it to him. Cannot lose sight of your man or the basketball. That's Tennessee State did that time, and Gibson made him pay. Garrett Richardson, a left-handed tray. His first point. Gibson feeds Johnson on the blocks. Spin around jumper. A little strong, gets his own rebound, put back. Got to keep him off the boards, because he will follow. He operates in the open court, misses the layup. Here comes Tennessee State. This is Jamie Roberts finding Offutt for three. Got it, John Offutt. He has got six, and Tennessee State is not good. A three for Richardson is way strong. And here comes Arkansas full blast. What a bounce pass to Joe Johnson. Wow! What a pass. Somewhere there's a mismatch with Gilmore guarding the guard. Brandon Davis misses the bank shot, but gets the second one through. Brandon Davis has six. Again, what did he do? Another offensive rebound out of Brandon Davis. He's a very valuable guy. He's a senior, just provide leadership. And 
attack those offensive boards. Another turnover for Tennessee State. Johnson has it, feeds Eddins with a three-pointer. Yes. Blake Eddins has got six on Jamie Roberts. Cross courts it to Tarek Brown, a three-pointer for Tarek Brown. He's got five points. And is back to an eight-point lead. Wow. And where was the defense? 535. Arkansas leads by 10. Ahead of everybody is Johnson. What a superlative catch. Just to come up with that basketball with Rolston. High rebound comes to Roberts, who feeds back out Brown. Samuel with a three-pointer. Yes. Gibson. Eddins with a ball fake. Now Cleveland. Gibson with a head fake. Attacks the basket. Then he gives him. Court pressure. It's Brown against Brandon Dean, who stops, pops, big. Big, big shot for Brandon Dean. This is his first field goal. This is Dean from three. Yeah. Five points, quick as a wink for Brandon Dean. Gilmore took an ill-advised dribble. Now he is in bad, bad trouble. Gibson feeds ahead Dean for the slam. Brandon Dean has scored seven points in about two and a half minutes. And it's a 14 point. This hasn't bothered Tennessee State. They've kept that floor spread. They made the right passes, kept guys at a 45 degree angle. And when Arkansas. Gibson turnaround jumper from inside the key. That's a tough shot for him. speed as he can run without the basketball. That's, that's hard to find. He really advances that ball quickly. Entry lob to Joe Johnson. Little defender to cover a guy like that. Baseline jumper Don Offit is good right at the corner. Offit Richardson doesn't have numbers, so he'll back it out. Brown with a big three-pointer. Wow! Uh oh, it's a three-point game. Derek Brown has got 11. And the Larry Satchel's in the game, by the way. Here's a three-pointer, TJ Cleveland. That's a big one for Arkansas to answer. Five for Cleveland. Teen shooting outside the stripe. Here's a long three-pointer. Tarek Brown answers again. Wow. Cleveland controls at the top, tries to launch another three. It's a shootout between Tarek Brown and D.J. Cleveland right now. The state is quick to react to shooters. Four to shoot. Three-pointer upcoming. Johnson got it. Big one from Big Joe Johnson. Big one. He's got 21. Zone. Now, that, that type of zone is vulnerable from the corner, and if you penetrate, you always have a guy open in the middle of the lane just like that. Climbs for the rebound. Johnson, nice reverse dribble. Goodness gracious. He it's plays the team at a different level at times. There's not much he can not do out there. Yeah. And did you see how he hesitated and set up the defense, then when he decided to go, boom. He was as quick as a six-foot guard. Satchel rejects. Gibson ahead of everybody. Fifteen-point lead, three minutes to go. Tennessee State says, hang on a minute. Let's talk this over. For Tennessee State. And the Tigers need some quick points. Inside strong has it blocked by Satchel. His 12 0 run has come quickly. Three minutes and 44 seconds. Here's Satchel. Five for Larry Satchel. And it's a 17 point lead. Strong. Rather, Gilmore has it blocked away. Three on none. Brandon Dean. Showtime. Missed the dunk. Here's Johnson to clean it up, though. Gomez, nice catch on the blocks. Gets the return pass from the lane. And that's your basketball game. 22-point Arkansas win, but it was not that easy. Nolan Richardson, the third, gets the big hug from Dad on a job well done both ways. A couple of pointers here. And you know they'll be talking about this one for quite a while to come. Nolan Richardson's first game as a college coach is under his belt. We'll return to talk with the coach. 90-68, your final score. Arkansas takes it here in Fayetteville.